What's up? We made it to Costa Rica. I spent the end of 2017 and beginning of 2018 in the beautiful country of Costa Rica, traveling around from city to city. We are gonna take a three and a half hour shuttle to Manuel, Man, Manuel Antonio. What she said. Today it is our second last day in Tamarindo. And now we're on our way to Sarapique. La Casona Rio Fortuna. I ate delicious new food, saw postcard-worthy views, embraced a new culture, and made a lot of new friends from around the world. Typical experiences you'd expect while traveling, right? Of course, but I also left the trip with so much more. And so much less money in my bank account. But it was worth every single cologne. This is my Costa Rica story. Crikey mate, we just spotted a wild crocodile and that's the worst Blimey. Australian accent ever! <laughs> crocodile Dundee would be proud of us! <gasps> Crikey! I traveled with my friend Katie and for the first three nights we stayed at Selena Hotel in Manuel Antonio, having fun exploring the small oceanside village on our own. Right now we're kind of just exploring our hostel. This is their yoga studio, so in the mornings they have yoga. Um, Katie was gonna come but you know just didn't wake up. So yeah, how unreal is this? What's up guys? So we just got back from zip lining and my GoPro didn't work. So there's no evidence, but we're just gonna have to take my word for it. She didn't even go zip lining. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put my face on the internet like that. It looks so good. I spy with my little camera a swan. It was so cute. It was just sleeping in the trees. We then hopped on a plane for a 20 minute ride to San Jose. All right, update, we are finally getting on the plane. Of course, it was 45 minutes late. Ooh, there's a horse. This is definitely a monumental moment for me. Never rode in a plane this small yet. Me neither. Good thing we have some good life insurance. If I die, mom and dad will get a million dollars or something like that. Where's the champagne? Feel like a Kardashian. Except, uglier and poorer. San Jose is where we began the part of our trip we'd most been looking forward to, our Contiki tour. Contiki is a travel company that caters to 18 to 35 year olds, and it felt like I was on an epic school trip with 30 amazing friends. It's so convenient because everything is planned for you, and it was the perfect mix of sightseeing, adventure, culture, free time, and socializing. Yes, that was taken directly off their wiki page, but it perfectly summed up our trip. This is the Contiki bus that we ride on everywhere. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna zig a zig. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever. After meeting up with our Contiki group, we left San Jose to the island of Tortuguero where we stayed in the coolest jungle lodge hotel. We just made it to our room in the. It's uh, Pachira Lodge in Tortuguero. Sorry guys, I got a bit interrupted, but I really want to show you the room, and I will do a full... <laughs> well, thanks for interrupting me again then. <laughs> because I'm just doing an intro, and then I'm gonna show them the room. That's how you YouTube, kids. Yeah, so we made a friend with Zoella. Just kidding, she's just British. So, let's do this Jungle Lodge room tour. So this is... This is it. We've got a bed. We've got a fan. We've got a mirror. We've got a Katie. And then these are the halls. Like, how cool is this? We've been here for five minutes and... Yeah. New Year's was spent with our new friends. Happy New Year to you! Hi. You're Hi, vlog. You're killing Bye. Is that Canada? It is! Oh, Canada. No matter what we go 
Ooh, we look like we're about to tell scary ghost stories. It was the night before New Year's and all through the jungle. Not there were lots of creatures stirring, even deadly snakes. Good morning, guys. Happy New Year. It's January 1st, the first day of 2018, and I think I'm off to a great start. So, where am I going? Yeah, anyways, um, so the rest of the Kentucky group went on a nature walk this morning at 9 a.m., but I really want to sleep in, and, you know, I'm technically doing a nature walk right now. Um, so I'm just going to meet them because now we're going on a boat tour, um, and there's a lot of fun stuff planned for today. Hi! What's up guys? We're on another boat! Next, we headed to Serapiki and did a locally guided chocolate tour, learning how they turn cocoa into chocolate. That night, we'd spend in an eco-tent, surrounded by the jungle and bonding with our Kentucky friends over Spice Girls, Flip Cup, and salsa dancing. Wild tourists have been spotted on the side of the road in Costa Rica! <laughs> so we're gonna go visit Willy Wonka! Well, the, the Costa Rican. Costa Rican Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka, yes. Carlos Wonka. Watch your head. Oh. <laughs> you just said watch your head and walk into it yourself. I thought I was gonna be sh uh, short enough for today. Wow. What's the difference between the black ones and the green ones, you think? Black ones got bugs on them. <laughs> you have two methods to open it. The monkey way <laughs> or the human way. Monkey, <laughs> monkey, monkey way. way. Monkey way. <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna do this. Here, make the sound like monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's my face. Hey, hey, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not easy to open. Yeah. Right. Ah, there we go. Like you mean it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hey. Picture your ex boyfriend's <laughs> Put your back into it. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it, put your back into it. <laughs> Are you chocolate wasted? Yeah. <laughs> so we just made it into our eco lodge tent. It's kind of like glamping because there is electricity, but um, I mean, but we're basically in a tent. So this is the beds. And then this is the bathroom, and that is the end of this tour because this is pretty much our tent. All right, let's go, Katie. We're on a mission. Come on, vamanos. Everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. How to make it less creepy. I know that we can do it. Well, yeah, Dora makes everything exciting. Especially when your voice cracks like a pubescent boy. I'm like, no, don't run. So this is the dining area. So you can see again, more lovely views of the jungle. Cool. Beautifully set. I'm excited. What about you, Naomi? Oh, and then we have Naomi, ready to eat. Come and get it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Literally looks like I'm not wearing pants right now, but yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. All day. To quench our thirst for adventure, we went whitewater rafting and waterfall repelling, which was totally fun and not scary oh, at all. Oh no, we're doing it! <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it! <laughs> 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 Just very, very cold water.
It means no worries for the rest of your days. The free philosophy of oh! Avatada. Get low! We dove deeper into Costa Rican culture by visiting a local school and country estate. We're going to La Fortuna. Dot, 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 dot. Katie is always coming in, filling in the blanks. Where are we going? Casano Rio Fortuna. There we go, in an Italian accent. Ah. That's not an Italian accent. It sounded Italian. You're Italian. Buongiorno. <laughs> Basta. <laughs> So yeah, we're um, about to go meet like the rest of our group and go on this excursion. It's gonna give us like a more authentic, or like a more inside look into like the authentic Costa Rican lifestyle. Yeah. So we're entering a school. Yeah. We're about to get school. We're about to get schooled up in here. What do you think? How did you like that? It was amazing. I did see that you lost your phone though. <laughs> you didn't, okay, I was gonna say, I was like, uh, it's still there. This is a special recipe from my grandma. So, Gracias. We're not having a team too. Whoa, I like it. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Adina, Adina, Adina. All right, so we arrived at Lake Casona, Casona. Um, we had some moonshine, as you saw, and I enjoyed. Or hammer. <laughs> and now we're going on a garden tour. Gracias. Getting tatted up. I'm hardcore. Bueno, a ti te queda mejor en la liga. Yeah, right there. All right. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? You ruined it. Things get crazy in yeah, Costa Rica. You should make it permanent for sure. Uh, since pre-Columbian time, uh, native people used this to uh, decorate bodies as a uh, war paint. Actually, ladies, if you want to try it on, you can you feel free to do it. May not come off in a couple of days, but. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> Color looks good on you, girl. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Guys, uh, first, uh, welcome to the kitchen. Uh, that's where it teaches how to make tortillas. So I just finished making the perfect tortilla. Ooh. We finally get to eat. Yeah, yeah, con ti que me arrebata, bata. Baby, tú me tienes loco, loco. Tú me encanta si se nota, ah, ah. Y si tú y yo ya estamos aquí. No matter which part of the country we traveled to, one constant in Costa Rica was the saying pure vida, which in English translates to pure life. Pura vida! Pura vida! Pura vida! Pura vida! Pura vida! It's a phrase that we heard and saw everywhere, but for many Costa Ricans, it's a way of life. It's to live a peaceful, simple, uncluttered life with a deep appreciation for nature, family, and friends. So thank you, Costa Rica, for being one of the most memorable trips I've been on. 
Here's to living the rest of 2018 the Pura Vida way. Oh